Welcome back to my channel or welcome here if it's your first time. My name is Shannon and I'm really excited today to share all about my review on my new Canon EOS M50 camera. I got this camera last month for my birthday and it's my first camera, I was going to say ever, but I think as an adult. So when I was younger, in middle and in high school, we didn't have camera phones. Cell phones honestly just came out. I think I got my first cell phone in middle school. Didn't have a camera, didn't have internet. All you can do is like call and maybe text people. So we used cameras back then, but they were like the little $100 digital cameras. And by the time I went to college, there was cameras on your phone. So this is my first camera as an adult. And I've tried it out in the last video, my Temecula vlog and I've been using it on my most recent Instagram picture so I wanted to give it a good amount of time about a month or so to try it out before I gave my review on it so if you're looking for a new camera or looking for your first camera for filming or to take pictures this video is for you so just keep watching okay so let's get into the specifics of my new camera so first of all it's going to come like this it's pretty small which is really great and you have a little thing here you can hold your hand around Flip it around and this actually opens. So we're gonna open it like this. And what I do is I twist this like here and then I bring it back so you can look at whatever you're shooting right here. But if you're doing something front facing, like say you're recording a video, you're probably going to want it opened up like this, of course, so the camera can see you and so you can see yourself what you look like. So this camera comes with a bunch of accessories actually, which is great. It comes with this great strap, which I love to use if I'm like walking around somewhere or I'm just out getting pictures or getting some videos. I definitely use this and it's pretty comfortable. It's like really, really lightweight. Um, just so I don't have to like put it away and bring it back out. I know that nothing's going to hit it if it's just sitting here. So this camera does come with a lens, which is amazing. And it's really, really easy to put in. You just find the grooves and twist it until you hear it click in. And then up here, you're going to see this on off switch and that's where you turn it on. And there's my living room. So you can use this front piece of the lens to zoom in and zoom out, which is great, of course but then even better. There are so many options on here. <laughs> you can change different things like the brightness, whether the background is blurred, you can change filters on here, the contrast. You can change a whole bunch of things, which is really, really great. What I use most of the time is just the auto. So whatever it auto focuses to, whatever the auto lighting is, I really just use the auto because it turns out pretty well. This over here, you can do a timer. So if you want 10 seconds and you can do, you know, a self timer there. Down here, of course, you can see what's on the camera. So pictures, videos, whatever you have on the camera and then menu, all the great stuff is on here. So what is also really cool is you're gonna have a whole bunch of different settings up here for how you want to shoot. So of course you have your regular filming, you have your auto cameras, you have so many things. And there's this one called creative filters. Here's what it looks like. And you can choose your filter and they're so cool. There's fisheye, there's water painting effect, toy camera, miniature effect. So what I like to do is just play around with these. Most of the time I don't use any creative filter on there, but they are really fun. So of course down here is where your battery is going to be, right in here. And then just above that is where your SD card is going to be. And right here is where you can put it on a tripod, on a stand, and so it stands up so you can take pictures. Okay, of course it's going to come with a few lens cases, which is very, very important that you use if you're not using the camera. Overall, I have loved this camera so far. It is so easy to use the strap. Honestly, like everything came with it. I did buy a few accessories, so I'll share that in a little bit. 
but so far I've been loving this camera. Okay, so here we are recording on the Canon EOS M50 camera, and I just think it looks so super clear. There's an autofocus on it, so it's going to look at your face and move so it autofocuses wherever your face is going. What I love about it is the audio is really, really clear as well. I don't need a microphone or something like that. That would definitely be a great investment later on down the line if I choose to, but you don't need that with this camera. I am extremely happy with this camera for the price. The quality is so, so high. With recording and taking pictures, you can change anything you want. There are tons of filters, sizes, and options. It's a really great starter camera and it's extremely versatile in what you can use it for. Also, for someone like me who isn't used to having a camera or working a camera, it's really user-friendly. I think I looked up a few YouTube videos on what the different settings mean and how you can make sure you're getting the specific aspect ratio and the sizing you need for wherever you wanna be using your photos or your videos. But overall, very, very user-friendly for anyone from beginner to advanced. I do believe this is gonna be a great camera. So now let's get into all the accessories that I bought for this camera. I wanted to be able to protect it. I wanted extra batteries, needed an SD card, and I wanted a remote clicker to take pictures and just start recording. So I'm going to share all of the accessories I bought. And of course, I'll include the links down below in the description. So the first accessory I got, I was going to get a camera bag to make sure it was protected since I'm going to be using this camera traveling. And that's actually where I first used it on my Temecula trip. I needed it to be protected. I didn't want to get a big camera bag just because I didn't want it to take up too much space, but I still didn't want to break anything when traveling with the camera. So I actually bought this case sleeve and the camera just fits right in here and it's like padded on the outside. So it's gonna protect your camera. There's also a little zipper right here, which is where I put my clicker and an extra battery and it's still compact. It's still small enough where I actually put it in my purse. So when we're going around, when we're traveling, I can still bring my camera and it's not anything too extra. I definitely really like this sleeve case and I definitely would recommend it. I think it fits any other cameras as well that is kind of in the same range but just make sure you're checking the specifications to know if it's going to fit your specific camera. I probably should have started with these accessories because I do think these are most important and they are extra batteries. So your Canon camera is going to come with one battery and one charging case, which is great. But if you're like me, you're going to be out all day, maybe taking pictures or you want to be filming something, you're going to need backup batteries. So I bought this dual charging battery set and it says it's for Canon brand cameras. So I wanted to keep everything with the Canon brand, just make sure everything would work together and I wouldn't have any issues. And this is great just because you can charge them together. You're not gonna lose them. When I did travel last time, I did bring this one and this one just because at night I wanted to charge all three batteries and make sure I use them all the next day. I think I only went through two batteries a day and that's the full day. So I never needed to use all three batteries, which is great. But if you want to bring your camera out for the full day, and you don't want to worry about it dying, definitely you're going to need some extra batteries. The next accessory I got for my camera, and actually this is more of a necessity, is an SD card. So you're going to need this because that is of course how your camera is going to store your videos and your pictures. And for me with my MacBook Air, there's actually a slot right into it where you can stick this SD card. If not, you can actually hook something up to your phone. There's a whole bunch of different converters where you can make things sync to together but with this camera what I love is that you can send photos and videos right from your camera to your phone over Wi-Fi over the internet you can do it without any cords I love that because if I was taking videos or pictures and I wanted it to go right to my phone to upload somewhere to upload to Instagram or Facebook I can do that instantly this SD card I bought is huge it's 128 gigs you can have on here extreme pro of course I'll link it below like I said but I just want an SD card that's gonna hold everything and anything that I wanted to have on my camera after I go on a trip or after I do some kind of recording 
saying for this YouTube video, I will upload everything to my computer and use my external drive to store everything. So I'm not gonna keep everything on here forever. I just wanted to make sure there's enough space until I can get everything on my computer. So say if I go on a week long trip, I still wanted that to be stored on here until I can get it on my computer because I wouldn't necessarily bring my laptop on a trip. So definitely get an SD card that fits your needs. Okay, the last accessory I bought for this camera and I really do think all of these accessories are necessary, but this one is absolutely optional. This one I wanted because in case someone's not with me to take a picture or I wanted to set up my camera on a tripod and get a picture in a different way, I needed a wireless remote control. So this is what it looks like. This is just the box it comes in. So again, this says it's for Canon specifically, and I just wanted to make sure I was getting everything for the Canon brand so it would all work together seamlessly. I was reading some reviews on other wireless remotes and they were saying, oh, it didn't work with my specific camera. So I just didn't want to have a headache of anything. So I just bought everything that was for Canon. This remote is really, really easy to use and it's pretty small. So if I want to take a picture, I'll kind of just put it in my hand like this. This remote control comes with a wireless little strap so you can put it on here, but I usually just hold it in my hand because it's small enough. And then of course, this is the button where you're going to take the pictures. These two buttons down below is how you pair it and it's really easy to pair. I actually just read the reviews on how to pair it and it took maybe five to 10 seconds. So it's really easy and it's really helpful. You can switch the modes as well. So you can either do, you can click it and then it takes a picture right away or you can do kind of wait for two seconds or wait for 10 seconds after you click it. So again, if you don't want to be running back to your camera on the tripod or you're alone, you don't have somebody else to take pictures for you, especially during this time, you might want to look into a remote. That is actually how I took these few pictures here. I just had it in my hand. I am so curious. I would love to know what camera you're using or if you use your phone. Like you guys know, I had been using my iPhone 8 Plus for months and months, honestly, for Instagram, for YouTube, until I got this camera. So I'm so curious what you guys use to film your content, to take your pictures. So let me know in the comments down below. If you did like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I always love hearing from you guys. I am now posting videos every other Friday with the holidays, so I'm super excited to continue sharing videos, and I will see you guys next time.